The African wild dog and domesticated dogs represent two distinct branches of the broader canine family tree. Despite their shared ancestry, both have diverged significantly due to differences in lifestyle, habitat, and evolution. African wild dogs, also known as lycane pictus or painted wolves, due to their striking coat with patches of red, black, brown, white, and yellow fur, are native to sub-Saharan Africa. They are pack animals and are known for their highly social behavior and complex communication skills. These dogs are built for endurance rather than speed and usually hunt in coordinated packs, relying on their teamwork to bring down larger prey. Social cooperation is vital in their survival, with packs supporting the sick and sharing food. On the other hand, domesticated dogs, descendants of wolves, have been selectively bred by humans over thousands of years to serve various purposes. They range vastly in size, color, temperament, and skill. These dogs are often categorized by breed, with each having been selectively bred for traits desirable for human companionship, work, or other tasks. Because of this close relationship with humans, domesticated dogs exhibit a multitude of behavioral traits that align with human needs, such as retriever skills, herding tendencies, or companionship traits. When it comes to breeding, the genetic distance between African wild dogs and domesticated dogs is quite significant. African wild dogs split from other canines early in the evolutionary timeline and represent a unique branch that is notably distinct from wolves and domestic dogs genetically. This genetic distance makes interbreeding between African wild dogs and domesticated dogs highly unlikely if not impossible. They have a different number of chromosomes, with African wild dogs having 78 chromosomes compared to the 39 pairs found in domesticated dogs. Additionally, even if interbreeding were genetically feasible, ethical, and practical considerations would present barriers. Thus, while scientific curiosity may incite questions about hybrid possibilities, African wild dogs and domesticated dogs remain separate species with distinct characteristics tailored to their respective environments and roles.